Hey guys, in this today's video, I just want to share a uh, really a cool thing about recently in my uh, Facebook uh, uh, homepage, I really got a sponsored feed about uh, something called a tab nine. Uh, what it is, even I really just uh, went on to their website. Now let's try checking out what tab nine is. So essentially, what uh, they in their homepage, they they are saying that it is a uh, deep learning uh, process on that side which really helps you to write your code faster uh, on your ID so what essentially uh, what the purpose of our uh, I using ID is uh, we generally install the extensions like in the VS code atom or sublime whatever you might be using and then that extensions or the code snippets really help us to really allow us to uh, write the code much more faster but this but as per this site or this company what is claiming that that they will really essentially uh, push you more further and just try to really help you to write your code more efficiently so really in early back to 90s like uh, where people used to write the code on the notepad like everything was on really hard way then the IDs came in which really made the auto completion feature and now consider it as a much more of further a top of layer on the like uh, the code and snippet it generally like predicts everything just as it really shows in their demo uh, what it what it is and what it isn't so uh, how much is it true well I don't know uh, Stephen Mischuk really made uh, just uh, tech news about it and I really tried to search on YouTube or any other platform uh, but I didn't find any real reliable source of explaining what it is so I really thought that why shouldn't I really make my own videos so uh, this is what I'm really trying to uh, just go on and try to test it out uh, whether how it is really viable for uh, everyone out there and currently this is right now in the beta stage so if you want to just go out and just try to do it anything else uh, I don't know whether it will really work for you or not but let's try to uh, look into for me being a JavaScript I'm really right now tending to uh, I'll use the JavaScript but one of my friends Shivankar Ayre also really just uh, tried and tested out in the Python and uh, I'll really share his uh, uh, opinion about what he said in the later words so let's try to begin out so and just okay uh, get over to the computer screen so what essentially uh, the tab 9 what they are saying is uh, it's a really tab 9 uses the deep learning to help you write code faster okay that's good so let's try to really you know how where it is available let's try to see about the download so tab 9 is easy to install it is available on these platform like VS Code, IntelliJ, I mean uh, Sublime, Vim, Vim, Vimcock, Emacs, Atom, Jupyter Notebook I mean pretty much everywhere that uh, on all other popular platform out there so like where it can be available block yeah so subscribe okay so what is the price structure right currently it is right now free there are also the professional plans and there is also enterprise plans you can just go on and check it out on this link law of uh, tab9.com slash subscribe but that's not what that's not what our aim is so what i'm really trying to do is just let's close this out for a while and i have opened a github source code of one person called jonas midman uh, what essentially this uh, code is about let's try to let's open it this is a <clears throat> this is actually just a kind of a Udemy course on Node.js uh, you can really check out his uh, course out there by the way I'm not really a sponsor or affiliated by in any means I just wanted to say that uh, I really purchased out the course of uh, his course and this is the uh, github repository of him where he just uh, uses this in uh, and explain this uh, explain this code in his course and I, what i'm just trying to do is just try to copy and really just see how efficient is this 
and how can uh, the tab 9 just predicts what we are going to type so uh, what we just going to take this fourth one this last after section and this app.js now let's try to minimize this first let's open the uh, uh, vs code terminal i mean vs code and what i've actually done is i have actually already created a folder called this tab 9 and essentially in that i have already created a uh, app.js file and just now what we are really going to do is just try to install the tab 9 and now in e tab 9 okay yeah install it so just it, it is taking a while okay yeah it is installed right now so just try let me try it out and let's type try to type out this code so here is this code of our right side and just what i'm really trying to just copy paste all the thing so let's try it co nst const path equals require okay it is trying to show that yeah you can see that it is trying to show but it also has this it also has this feature in auto complete so what's the difference let's try to proceed and let's find out require path k const express equals oh yeah this is cool like it all it automatically suggests let's try out const morgan oh cool i've never seen this like in any autocomplete a feature or snippets const rate limit rate limit <coughs> is equal to require express okay you can just type it out express express rate limit limit so so far it has rolled really right now good gone well really good enough but uh, let's try out type from this line number uh, 24 okay so i have already done it done here by the way this is not any some sort of this is just a demo so it really makes sense to just kind of go and jump on to the any line const express is equal to express yeah good app dot enable app dot enable trust oh a trust proxy come on bro you can check there you can check out the side by side code and you can just uh, just rate it out how it works oh app dot set oh yeah dot set okay app dot set Ooh, no we don't want this map dot set view engine bug UG, okay by the way i don't like pog <laughs> just my personal opinion app dot get sorry app dot set a app dot set method views oh cool path dot join Oh, it it really gives the double slash. It's so awesome. Dial name and comma uh, views. Okay, so let's now give a semicolon and just uh, try to really jump out this e on line number. Uh, 
let like, just try line number 55 here this one you can see which this one is highlighted so let's try const limiter is equal to rate limit okay we just want this and this okay max is equal to 100 window tends to 60 uh, 60 like um, yeah that kind of thing we don't want this it's just this one right okay so according to here what I have really seen it works really fine now let's try out to really just look in, into the another file section so by the way if you are really wondering about how this is dark the how this background is dark I'm really currently using the night eye extension it's really cool and you can just go on and just use it so uh, yeah so really use this uh, what we called model uh, tool model yeah this is cool right now let's try to use it so uh, so we will create another another file called uh, model dot js sorry i am getting wrong okay let's close this out so const mongoose sorry mong goose equals require require mongoose oh cool okay oh const sluggify was oh, I do this isn't very mm -hmm. This time it doesn't it didn't really show up that much. Hmm. Let's try from this line number uh, six. And from line number, and we will just try to really sh uh, show up from try to write from six or write up to this fifteen. So okay. So cons to don't care about what it is const tour equals new uh, mongoose dot mongoose dot schema good working well mm. okay I just want to make it something right okay name type string okay so really you know I'm not doing anything that type is automatically done required um, required true right okay you just uh, just try to really write in this one true comma let's try to add a comment uh, tool must have must have a name okay so what we'll essentially just try to yeah unique should be unique true okay uh, trim should be true and max length this time it didn't really show let's try out 100 okay and 
min length min length is equal to let's say 40 probably so yeah it, it really works decently so this was it guys i just want to show about how can you really use it and i hope that you have really uh, enjoy this session about yeah and what i was going to say about python is that uh, one of my friends uh, shubhankar i just tested out and he said that uh, it's good but some of them were the, some of the functions that it was really appearing uh, twice at the same time which was not really meant to be uh, written sir in that way i have just uh, post the screenshot of it in front of you right now you can just take a look over it so what essentially uh, it is really right now doing for me uh, if i'm if for me the javascript you, as you have seen it really worked really fine but for other languages that's not my expertise i don't know any other language uh, but still it is really in the beta stage and considering that it is performing so well that i have uh, really used something previously like like previously extensions like javascript react extensions were not any near to this what i have really used uh, obviously there was some sort of two or three nitpicky things that i really showcase here so uh, this was it guys like <laughs> you just i just want to show about uh, how you can just get your hands dirty in using tab 9 so i hope that you have really liked this video consider subscribing to this channel if you have any question, queries, comments, suggestion for this channel and also for me, just post it down in the below comment section and make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you like. And till then, see you next time and have a good day. Bye.